So it has used um, tried and tested methods of mathematics to solve this question and made it you know pretty complex by assuming more and more values. Let's see what I'm going to do. Rectangle that we are looking for is this rectangle with length 2a and breadth a. So ratio is 2a upon a where I can get 2 is to 1 directly. <laughs> Could be done mentally also, right? That is where human intuition wins over AI's auto. Um, these days, it's an advent of AI, artificial intelligence. And we have so many AI tools like ChatGPT, MathGPT, Grok, Gemini. Multiple tools are there which are helping us in writing stuff, in uh, calculation, in solving complex mathematical equations. And it's like a, you know what, it's like an assistant to you. So earlier, like uh, 10 years back, I remember that I had to um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll talk 20 years back when I was a you know kind of a very young kid. I was probably in uh, maybe fifth or sixth class at that time. When I want to know something, uh, it was like I went to my parents, teachers sometimes, and they told me, okay, go and read Encyclopedia Britannica. I did that. Ten years back, <clears throat> it was all you know whatever you want to know, just Google it out. You want to buy something, you want to create something, you want to know something about anything it's it was all google so you had to you know kind of type and uh, look at the things google was a search engine then came recently it is ai and ai is not even letting you do the you know kind of you don't have to even type much things you just have to type there i want you to create a project on such and such uh, or create a project for school or college or uh, any kind of seminar that i want to take or any kind of uh, you know, kind of a, give me a writing story story idea to, to shoot a movie. All that stuff AI is doing. So today, what I felt that in, in, in my team, people were thinking that, okay, sir, is it possible that, you know, you kind of compete with AI for mathematical problem solving? I said, that's not a competition. It's not a worthy competition, actually, because obviously AI would be solving faster than me, maybe because it doesn't even have to write, okay? It doesn't have to uh, do multiple things. So there are certain questions which my students might be knowing it that I solve through intuition, through observation, through patterns. Now some patterns are already found and they are out there on the uh, internet. For example, Fibonacci sequence. Or multiple things are out there, but certain patterns which you know you uh, identify while solving a complex mathematical problem. That is something which AI probably can't do. So. This intuition, I would, I would, you know, say it again. Intuition. I won't say emotions, ego, super ego, id, etc. All the psychological terms. I would use intuition is one thing, which AI currently, for now, you know, as far as my knowledge is concerned, I'm not a scientist, but I think somehow intuition is something which AI cannot develop. But one of my friends told me, who is an, a, you know, a machine language ML expert. He told me that we are developing GI called general intelligence. Probably intuition will be there. I don't really know. But let's focus on today's agenda that is uh, whether AI can use intuition in solving complex mathematical problem. So I will sh I will share my screen. I have an I have a tablet with me on which I will be solving, and then there is a laptop on which the chat GPT will be solving a complex mathematical problem. I won't I won't say it's complex, but yeah, it is kind of it is quite uh, um, insightful. So let's do that. I'll be sharing my screen and you can watch it here. So now uh, you can see I have given a question and this is the output which is still generating. And here it says thought for 20 seconds. So chat GPT 04 mini, it claims itself to be the fastest at advanced reasoning, this model of chat GPT. Now it says write down the question clearly. So there is two raised to certain power that is 4x square minus two again raised to the power of 2x square plus x plus 16 and then we have plus 2 raised to power 2x plus 30. So it looks like a very complex equation, isn't it? And that is equal to 0. Now it says dividing everything by this value. The moment it does it, the first term becomes this, middle term becomes this, all that stuff happens. And now the new equation is this. Now it says introduce a new variable to simplify the exponents. So it has replaced 2x square minus x with y. And now we have a new equation in terms of y. It says write each term as a power of 2 to the power y. So, you know, all these things, when I talked about the structure with chat GPT, any AI engine follows, is the exact structure which we follow in our exams. All right. So now this is the new equation which we see here. And it solves again. Then it says 
assume 2 to the power y to be equal to t. So now you see that chat GPT here has assumed the same variable again and again in different variables. First it assumed um, something, then assumed y, then assumed t. So it's keep it's it's doing the same thing again and again. So basically, it get it got y as 15. Now it says recall y is this solving for x. So you know what? Here you see the final answer is 1 by 2, which is the correct answer. But it's thought for 20 seconds and it took around 20 seconds more to generate this response. Overall 40 seconds, you will say, oh, it's really fast. And it's fast, I believe that. But don't you think that there's so many things which are which it has done by following a mathematical structure as if it is writing the solutions for board exams? <laughs> intuition is missing. It, it doesn't have intuition, right? which probably a human can have. So that was AI. Now let me let me try the same question. I have my iPad here and I'll try the same question. And let's see if I can find if I use an intuition over here. So <laughs> let's see. So this is my pad. I'm going to solve the question here. The question said 2 to the power 4 x square. Okay. Minus 2 to the power 2 x square plus x plus 16 plus 2 to the power 2x plus 30 is equal to 0. You know what this question gives me real chills. I don't know what to do. I'll use my intuition. Okay, I can see there are three terms uh, raised to certain powers and all these terms are powers of 2. Okay, cool. So, if I keep the first and third term on the left hand side like this, and send the middle term to the right hand side this is what i will get but why am i doing it i want to use some intuition so here i see that the powers of 2 here we have two powers of 2 two powers of 2 and they add up to another power of 2 how is that even possible if i write powers of 2 1 2 4 8 16 32 it is impossible that I, if I add any two powers of two, I get third power of two. It is it is practically impossible. Then what can be done? There's only one thing which is possible that if I add any power of two to itself, I'll get the next power. Do you believe that? See, two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus eight is 16. Common sense. Ha, now this is what I'm going to use. So if I say, if I generalize, I will say two to the power k plus two to the power k will be giving us giving us 2 into 2 to the power k. I'm adding same thing 2 twice, which also means 2 to the power k plus 2 to the power k will be 2 to the power k plus 1. This is intuition, which is something Chad GPD was not aware of, or it cannot, you know, kind of see that. Cool. That means, that means if I get this result, it is possible only when two similar powers of two are added, which means these two values must be equal. Let's equate them. I'll get 4x square plus 2x plus 30. Equating, equating. So equating the above two powers, what do I get? Uh, 4x square is equal to 2x plus 30. Now bring it one side. I'll have 4x square minus 2x minus 30 is equal to 0 dividing by 2 everywhere I get 2x square minus x minus 15 is equal to 0 we need to find sum of all values of x basically we are we want to find the sum of roots of this equation it's a quadratic equation the sum of roots is given by what if we have a quadratic equation like ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 sum of roots is given by minus b by a so here b is minus 1 and a is 2 so I'll get minus of minus 1 by 2 which means 1 by 2 is the answer. So obviously when I explain that to you, I have to explain every step and each and everything. It might take me, might have taken me 3 to 4 minutes. But you know what? These things are intuition which can be, you can get it in like 10 seconds once you get that. After that, you don't even have to find the values of x which chat GPT tried to do. We, I've just put this formula, sum of roots of quadratic equation and I got the answer. Just like that. So what do you think now? For, I would say for complex mathematical problems, human intuition is, is way more, way better than AI's structure. Uh, so I will show you one more question by chat GPT. Let's see what it does and I will use intuition. So here you see 
this O4 mini version is trying to think a lot. Thought for nine seconds. Now it is going for solution steps. So as you see here, uh, it is setting up the rectangle's dimensions and using coordinate geometry. So minus two to zero and two to zero curved part lies above the x-axis. Rectangle ba base goes from x equal to minus a to plus a. So width is two a. Now top corners it has taken height. It has taken x square plus y square equal to four the top corners and then taken height as a function of you know width. And then area function, then maximizing the area. Oh, it has used differentiation calculus. Quite cool. <laughs> and then did all that stuff, solved it, and the answer is two. Okay, so it has used um, tried and tested methods of mathematics to solve this question and made it you know pretty complex by assuming more and more values. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Okay. So the semicircle, I want to put a rectangle inside it, which has got the maximum area. All right. And I need to find the ratio of length and breadth. So I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll, I'll draw a circle. Okay. I'll draw a circle. You will say Y circle. The question talks about semicircle, but I'll just show that to you. That's a circle that I have drawn. Okay. Nice. Now inside this circle, if I want to put a rectangle of maximum area, what would it be? If somehow I make something that the diagonal of the rectangle overlaps with the diameter of the circle, that will be giving me the area of maximum, area, rectangle of maximum area. All right. And square is also a rectangle, <laughs> right? So if I, if I uh, draw a square over here, okay, a square over here inside like this, see, I just, I'm drawing a square over here. More or less, it's a square. Doesn't look like one. Okay, that's a square. So I have a square here. Now I cannot go beyond this. Why? Because this, the the, the diagonal, the diagonal of the uh, square overlaps with the diameter of the circle. So now I have the rectangle with the maximum area that can be put inside a circle. But the question talks about semicircle. If it is semicircle, let me do something. I will just you know draw a line that will that will break this into two parts two parts all right so here you can see i have made a semicircle so there are two semicircles one is upwards other is downwards and i am just focused on any one of it this is the upwards this is the downwards whatever it takes basically i have made two semicircles and now the question remains same so for a square all the sides are equal okay so let's say if the sides were 2a each broken down into equal parts along one dimension becomes a each so now the answer is rectangle that we are looking for is this rectangle with length 2a and breadth a so ratio is 2a upon a where i can get 2 is to 1 directly <laughs> could be done mentally also right that is where human intuition wins over AI's order. So now you know what, um, and, and a human trainer, human trainer would always be better than an AI trainer because human would teach you intuition. In fact, you're also human and we can connect on the intuition. This is what I'm doing at iQuanta and any kind of uh, details, if you want, it is given in the description of this video. Go there. There's a WhatsApp group. You can just join it for all the notifications of the new batches, new classes, any products that we're developing or uh, college notifications when the exams are there, be it CAD, be it other management exams, SNAP, NMAT, etc. So any kind of news that an MBA aspirant requires would be there on this WhatsApp group. Go and join it and I'll see you in the classes also. Do not forget to attempt as many as mocks as possible. So we have 35 mocks, full length mocks and for different sectionals, just go there, attempt that. And if you, you know, are fascinated to see the kind of scientific advancements that we, the humanity is doing, but still we are not able to, you know, cross or, or, or overstep or, uh, um, you know, kind of um, win from the humanity itself, then this is what actually, you know, uh, gives us an idea that something 
higher power some higher power already exists so it's like you know what humans are to god ai is to human there's one thing more that uh, you would not be expecting this kind of content on an edtech channel but you know what it is somehow connected with the education pedagogy and training methodologies so if you want something more you know such kind of content which is uh, not seen normally in this kind of channel just tell me in the comments what do you want and subscribe to it and i'll make sure that i make content on anything that is pedagogical or educational thank you